look at you. My ITT. I'm the new head of this department. I am the head of this department. I thought I was. There will be some piece of evidence that will prove without any shadow of a doubt that you don't know anything about computers. What are you doing? Plugging in your computer. Hello, computer. <laughs> Hello. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? You, you do know how a button works, don't you? Welcome back to the lab. When I use the word hacker, I use it as an, as an honorary term, a term, of, a term of endearment. A hacker is a person who takes hardware or software and takes it to the next level, not to do anything malicious, no, but just no, to no. find out what it can do, to take it somewhere that it wasn't intended to go. And Franklin Harris is a hacker. He is a, with Technocrat, he's a managing editor there, and he also has his own video show uh, on the internet called uh, digitalunderground.tv. And you're gonna do something that is, has become perhaps the most, one of the most popular hacks over the last few years, which is to take a Linksys router and to change the firmware, to, to enhance its capabilities. There are three or four books written about hacking this year. There's books, yeah, wow. There's, there's an O'Reilly book and a bunch of independent books. This is the w, Linksys WRT 54G L. L. That's right. And then we have to say the L. You, you used to yeah. say the L, but the L is something that since Cisco acquired it has changed. Right. The, the original 54G, uh, there's about eight revisions. The first six revisions uh, were okay to hack. Highly hackable. Highly hackable. The last two, uh, which came out shortly after Cisco bought Linksys, were not hackable at all. Do you think uh, they didn't want people hacking? No, it their wasn't routers? intentional. It was they decided to use they different money. different chips inside yeah. to save money, uh, and because of the uh, the outcry and the response online of people complaining, uh, uh, Cisco and Linksys actually released a uh, the GL version. This is intended to be uh, intended. Hacked. Actually, there's a sticker on the box that says the firmware inside of here is completely open source, and you can do anything That's to so it you great. want right on there. So. so it started with OpenWRT. There are now many many different people. Are they actually taking the original Linksys source code and modifying and, yes, that? Yes, and modifying it. The, it all starts at the WRT, uh, open WRT uh, package. Now, this is kind of where everybody works together on adding services and modifying the firmware. Right. And then uh, they various... They'll add plugins that's right. to enhance the cap different capabilities. Yeah, or the, the interface, the GUI, and stuff okay. like that. I mean, so people don't have to do that themselves, though. If, this if, is all. Yeah, is, these are yeah. $60 routers. Yeah, 60 if, if you go to the store, make sure you get the GL. The GL. But it doesn't have to be that. If you actually go on OpenWRT's uh, website, there is a huge list of supported so other uh, routers, other work. routers too. This There's is the a huge classic. List. That's the classic. This is like the. It's like the Sony PSP. It's like the one everybody hacks. But I mean, if you have another common one is the D-Link uh, 524. If you have that at home, it's also easy. It's also easy. So okay. if you don't have to spend the money on buying something new, what do we do first? We want to modify this router. First thing, clearly, is you want to make sure that that your specific model is supported. Okay. And on OpenWRT's webpage on their wiki, they it is just huge. There's page Look after page them. after page, and it'll either tell you on the side whether it's untested, supported. Um, now, what can happen if, if, if it's not been... It just won't work. Like, you, you wouldn't be able to, to flash it. W w will you brick it? Will you have to throw it out? Or You might brick it. You might okay. not. It so the worst on. case scenario, you've got a $60 piece of junk. That's right. But, okay. I mean, it, it's really accurate. The listing here of if it what says works it can, and what doesn't, it will work. It will. Uh, once you do that, then you're going to fish around, uh, and you can do this on their forums, for various distributions of the firmware. The okay. one I like a lot is something called DDWRT. And the DDWRT. DDWRT. The reason I like this is because you download this firmware file, you then browse over to um, your the router. page, the router. 192.168.0.1 or 1.1 or 0.1. You go to the firmware upgrade page, you upload the, the, the firmware, and yeah. that's it. It's that's done. all you have to do. That's all you have to do. And then once that's done, you log back it's in your router. It's hacking. That's right. You hog, log back in your router, and this is what you get. You get something that's, um, I don't know if you can see my that's screen. That's the router talking That's now. That's the, the admin page for the uh, new it's firmware. It's announcing, hello, I'm a little different. That's right. It's a lot different, actually. There's all sorts of features. Now, uh, yeah, what is what is new in here? Here, uh, one of the key things that I really like about it is you can now disable the WAN port on it, and 
turn that WAN port into a fifth port on the switch. Okay, all these routers have four ports and plus a fifth that is designed to connect right. to another to the uh, Ethernet. That's right. But you don't. Why would you disable that? Uh, I, I personally have MonoWall running at home as my actual firewall on the okay. router, and I'm just going to use this as an access point. Okay. Nothing else. So this is not just broadcasting. You don't just need a WAN. I don't need a WAN port, and if I if I can add a fifth computer to it if I want right. to. Um, there's a built-in. Uh, 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 time server and NTP server built into the unit. So, so we'll get the latest network time. And tell all the machines on oh, your... Oh, it's a server. That's, it's a server. Oh. It's a server. Um, so you can all sync up to this. That's right. You can uh, you can create VLANs. Now, this is really cool. Uh, VLANs are virtual networks. So I can assign a virtual network to the wireless end of it. I can assign a virtual network to each specific port. Now, why would you want to do that, you ask? Well, I'm... I'm For really, security. I'm, I, well, and I'm a big believer in leaving my access point wide open. For you leave this people. open so other, other people, people can use it, but the VLAN protects the rest of your systems. That's right. So they can't actually see any of my computers at home. Very they're cool. on their, their own little network. Right. Now, did you? Uh, is this just with the basic DD? This is with the WRT. -E -E That's right. This you haven't added any uh, components no, this is, or anything. This is the basic wow. right out of the uh, right out of the. Uh, box. You said it has a VPN built into it. It's got a built-in VPN server, so if you're on the road, you can then. VPN How hard was back. that to set up? Uh, it was actually real easy. Uh, you're kidding? Because this is this is something everybody would like to do. I know people pay money to have a VPN to server. To get that in there. So this I just, just I go just over here. Up. I you just enable it. PPPTP server. I enable it. <laughs> I assign That's an it? IP address for this as a server, okay. a bunch of client IP addresses, and, and a secret key that's shared between... That's the password? That's the password between uh, the router and the client, and that's it. That's it? That's it. And then you'll be surfing through it that's right. safely. That's right. You can also subscribe to a hotspot. You mean you, you can like make it? yourself a hotspot? You can make yourself a hotspot. So you could set up a little business on the side. If you're in a, a downtown area, that's you could say, right. does it have its own login page? It's and got everything? its own login page and everything. You can use if other third party. If you're a you could do this. You don't have to go to trade or expensive independent service. coffee shop. I saw it had QoS as well. What is that? Q quality of service. You can actually sit here and uh, uh, say, I only want this specific port to have this much bandwidth at this this time or go so to this So you could prioritize IPS. Skype, for Skype instance, and get better results? Torrents or web traffic or whatever doesn't really matter that's it, uh, and, and, and the list goes on we've just scratched the surface uh, you can also the, the one thing I really like about it is you can turn the wireless feature into a bridge so if you've got another wireless device you can, this can just be an extender of it this could just that's right you don't even need a network cable connecting right, just back pass it, it along just pass it along yeah. this is a DDWRT it's one of many open WRT implementations to hack your router, it's just that simple. It's just really Easy. putting new firmware on there as long as you get the GL version of the Linksys. Of the, the GRT, yeah, or one of the first uh, uh, six revisions of it, yeah. if you could find one. Yeah, you may have it. This was the yeah, most might, popular wireless router That's for right. many, you many may years. very well have it. Are and there any N routers that support this? Uh, I'm sure there are. I'd there like to are. I haven't memorized all of them, but there's Franklin there's Harris is the managing editor at Technocrat, T E C H dot N O C R dot A T. There it is right there. Yeah, that weird spelling is. And then he also does uh, digitalunderground.tv. A yes. great video show for people who are fascinated by this kind of stuff. More uh, calls coming up in just a little bit. Also, Rob Dunn on remote editing. But first, what the tech? A zoom in picture of something you might find around the lab. Uh, what the tech is that? I don't know. Do you? We'll zoom out and find out when the lab continues.